Wake up, honey. I Listen, we, we just went through this. There's no wake up, honey, that you can do for this. This is Deluvian Winds. First thing I want to say is thank you to Goblin Studio for the sponsorship. Exclamation point Deluvian Winds. That's D-I-L-U-V-I-A-N Winds. Or you can scroll down below the video player and you can see yourself a little bit of panel art there that you can click on to check it out. It just came out in Steam Early Access today. It is a management game where you play a cute little walrus that has to stoke the fire of the lighthouse in order to keep Ruin from coming to uh, the town where he works and resides. Now, I've described it a little bit as, I think it's maybe Terraria meets Dredge, maybe a little like Dome Keeper Kingdom style stuff going on as well. Let, let's get it started in story mode here and we'll, we'll learn on the fly. We'll start with an introduction on the normal difficulty. The game uses auto saves. I am, I am aware, I am familiar with the process. I will not hit Alt F4 when there is a floppy disk in the bottom right corner. Deluvian wins. When Noah had gas. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody else here's favorite book, The Dictionary? POV, you are a walrus in the lighthouse. And your plane has just reached cruising altitude. What the heck is that that's going on out there? Chapter Zero, Day One, A New Life Begins. You ever think about how nice it would be in real life if you got like chapter delineators that just appeared in your vision? Sometimes you don't know, it's like a recession, you know? You don't know that you've started a new chapter in your life until, until you're 80% of the way through it. It'd be sick if you like, well maybe it'd be scary if you went to work one day and it was just like a random Thursday and it was like chapter four. You'd be like, oh snap, I'm on edge. Anyway. Chapter Zero, Introduction. Everything you need to start your journey. My lighthouse is a mess. This unhinged weather and the constant catastrophes keep destroying whatever we manage to build. Here, let me just you know, toss myself like up there. Make it easy on you. What a life. In any case, there's nothing else for it. We must rebuild. God, I'm too old for this. Me cleaning up my daughter's toys every night, knowing that my reward is that she's just going to throw them on the ground the next day. I'll wait for the next caravan. Let me know if I can help in the meantime. Please do not go far. The lighthouse tower is a safe place and there is so much to do to ensure our survival. All right. It is a management game. We need to take ourselves up to the, uh, to the garden, I suppose. We should take a little walk up there. Why don't you hit the space bar to start moving time? We should start by clearing out the debris. We need to recycle this wood. I can take care of it. Just let me know where to go. Introduction. Clear a building. Okay, so we got our, our main man, Elmer, here. Let me see. Elmer has a greenhouse that produces 15 fruit and a woodcutter's cabin that produces logs. There's a neutral relationship with an otter. That might be us. It's a squirrel, so it's good at vegetables and bad at fish. And it is land-based. Huge if true. He's an optimist. Yo, there's like some oxygen not included going on here. Minimum morale is neutral, maximum morale is satisfied. What's going on with the music? What, you don't like uh, Captain Beefheart? Okay, clear a building. We'll click ourselves some Elmer. I'd like to clear a building. Hello, Elmer. That's you? I could put you in the trash. Elmer, help me out here, okay? I've cleared you. Clear a building. Oh, no, it's, hang on. Click on the trash is, is a clear action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, clear this debris right here. We got it. I'll remove the debris. I should be done by this afternoon. Every activity is exhausting. It lowers my morale. Gen Z, man. Kim Kardashian was right. Nobody wants to work these days. Every activity is exhausting and lowers my morale. If it ever reaches zero, I will have to rest and won't be able to help anyone. That was a Gen Z, that was a joke, okay? I'm sorry. That was just a joke millennials like to tell them sometimes. You can tell it's a joke because usually it'll be a reference to Anchorman or like Napoleon Dynamite. I see there is a greenhouse still standing. If you assign me to it, I will forage for food there. Good idea. Producing resources is management survival 101. Okay, this is a greenhouse. 
workroom. We could put two individuals into the workroom. Please go ahead. I'll probably be done by the end of the morning. The production of resources is dependent on many factors, morale, species, weather. It's your responsibility as the keeper to make sure tasks get assigned efficiently. It is your home after all. It seems everyone is busy. Time to move on to the next phase of the day. Okay, we got Wazda to move around. We'll skip to the next morning. Evelyn, are you, are you number two or level two? That's what I want to know. Neutral, also a squirrel, okay. We got a squirrel-based economy right now. I will skip to the next phase of the day. Oh, baby! 50 of 40 lettuces? After work, it's time to rest. There's nothing better than a good binge to improve everyone's morale. The fuller the pot, the better we'll feel afterwards. Keep an eye on food reserves, however. It's always better to have some extra food saved up. A varied meal will give us different bonuses. Remember to mix up your ingredients and quantities. The flood is better with big folks like you around. Your generosity deserves a feast. You may fill the pot with various edible resources you have in storage. Traveler morale will be affected by the resources in the meal. The recipe and its effects will change based on the ingredients you use. Okay. All we have is salad. I'll do you a solid. And and honestly, tonight, why don't we feast? Green salad gives you wood plus five. Well, I guess it's probably good for your circulation. So that makes sense. Skip to the next morning. Hope you guys are enjoying your salad. Space bar me and move me onwards. Green salad, not my favorite salad, but it's a reasonable salad. The fire is the key to our survival. If I let it go out, travelers will not see the lighthouse and I will become isolated from the rest of the world. It's got a little frost punk vibe too. Each day the weather will have varying degrees of impact on the flame. We can maintain the fire by giving it sources of fuel. However, the items used for fuel are also materials required to build and reinforce the village. The future probably holds some difficult choices for us. For now, however, we have enough wood to keep the fire going as strong as it can. Okay, the stronger the fire, the faster the next exiles will find the lighthouse. The fire is as strong as can be with 10 extra wood, then we'll confirm that. It won't go out anytime soon. Travelers will see it from far away. Favorite salad? Listen, like mouth, I love a, um, I love a Greek salad, don't get me wrong. I love, uh, I love some feta, I love some red onions, some olives. But... I mean, it's really hard to beat a Caesar salad, man. I like romaine lettuce. I like croutons. I like the, the herby, creamy dressing. I like some shaved Parmesan or Asiago. It's just a very tasty salad. Like, it's, it's hard to dispute it. Now, let me see. Day one, it's a little cloudy. Day two, it's going to be a little foggy. Day three, it's going to be a little windy, which gives you plus five insects. Day two, a new day begins. Okay. Travelers have no requests. I do like like an Animal Crossing style like daily brief. That's like, here's what the day is going to look like. It's like, hey, you got a lot of wood. You don't have any oil. You don't have any uh, tapestries. You got no metal ingots. By the way, here's the weather today. And it's the fruit festival. Plus five to eating uh, stone fruits. Our next travelers are still a few days away, so no arrivals today. Let's tackle our morning tasks. Okay, where's my, uh, where's my Elmers and my Evelyns? They're not here yet. We're going we're gonna to skip phase one. I got you. Hello, Kate. Hello. They did not get turned into glue. That's horses, not squirrels. If I, may, if I may make a suggestion, you do not have the means of wood production. That's true. I am not a tree. I can take care of that if you'd like. Good idea. We have the ability to build a woodcutter's cabin. We travelers are looking for places to take refuge in our journey. We come with different skills. Try to use us at our best. Let's build a woodcutter's cabin. Sure, Elmer. I will build... Which makes, I'm assuming going from blue to green is like going from being 
really happy to being like kind of neutral. So build a woodcutter's cabin, please. Yeah, sure, build it right there. Let's, let's build a load-bearing woodcutter's cabin. Got it. How about you? What's your deal? We should keep building up our food supply. Very well, I'll wait for an assignment. Your assignment is to go to the greenhouse, please, and pick us 23 salads. There's nothing like a good meal after a hard day's work. Brother, we just woke up. <laughs> We literally just, uh, I mean, we've been awake for less than 90 seconds. I'm blue. If I were green, I would die. That's damn true. Here you go. Traveler has no strength left. Traveler's exhausted. Traveler's okay. Traveler's having the greatest day of their life. It's time for me to go back on the road. I shall be on the next convoy out of here. I'll check on you if I'm ever around here again. Thanks for your help. You are always welcome. Have a nice trip. And you know what? To celebrate you leaving, we're going to have a copious meal. I'm so, like, listen, I'm not going to give you a, a feast because you're just going to take those calories and, and like, you're going to leave our base. So you get a copious meal. If, you're, if you stay, you can have a feast. Come on, fill up the pot. O okay, never mind. We're having a feast. You don't want this person managing your, your base, okay? With two, two feasts in a row... You can't have two feasts in a row. Then the feasts become a meal. You, you change your anchor point. The fire can be seen from far away and the next convoy will be here tomorrow. Sometimes it's smart to save resources. Okay, we will apply no, no wood to the fire then. And we will skip to the next morning. Just like the chicken nuggets. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. If you get 20 chicken nuggets at once, thinking that it's like a treat, and the next time you get 20 chicken nuggets, it's not a treat anymore. That's your, your curse. A convoy just arrived as planned. Travelers looking for a rest, a refuge, or a meal will stay here for a few days. Let's welcome them the best we can. Um, hello. Oh, you're leaving. Climate imbalance forces travelers to move constantly. A caravan of refugees will arrive in your hamlet from time to time. Er, hello. With Elmer leaving, we have two available spaces. Who are the new visitors? <coughs> Bianca and Morgan. Let's see. We, we have two available housing spaces, so we'll take both. One is a mouse, which means they're good at working with metal and bad at working with insects. And one is... A bear, good at working with insects, and bad at working with metals. Okay. We'll take both, please. Bianca and Morgan. Let's see how we may help each other. Let's move on to the morning. Hello. Goodbye. Thank you for building a woodcutter's cabin. I appreciate it. Every traveler stays for a given time. When the time is up, they leave with the next caravan. They'll continue to help you until that caravan reaches your hamlet. Okay. So you're staying for two days, you're staying for three days, and you're staying for five days. Skip to the next morning. Are you telling me I gotta feed you, like, right away? You guys aren't gonna get any work done today? I don't have to feed them right away. The caravan came at night. Hello, everyone. I cannot work in any of your workshops. Don't you have some bears around? We don't. What is your specialty? We bears are experts in producing insects. Let me show you. Okay, Bianca. Why don't you build me a worm terrarium? Sure, put it right here. I don't, I don't know the, the positioning. Workshops aren't the only thing setting us apart. All species have their own bonuses. We squirrels can produce more vegetables than anyone. All I can think of is, head squirrel strong, I'll take you on. I'll produce more vegetables than anyone. Okay, so Evelyn, you're a squirrel. Do me a favor and go work in the greenhouse to produce 23 salads. Thank you. And then Morgan, you are good at working with metal. I will... Have, we have 15 wood. We could have you 
we can't have you get some salads. We could just have you go to the woodcutter's cabin. Okay, produce some some wood. We need to build like some metal, a metal workshop or something. Their respective knowledge gives them the ability to build different types of rooms. They also specialize in the production of certain resources. Understood. I'll skip to the next morning. We're so kidded. Let me guess, our third feast in a row? We have three people, we shouldn't be able to uh, produce a feast every day. So our recipe, we have a recipe for green salad, but what if, wait, excuse me, we didn't make it, oh, because we just built the insect maker today. Let's, um, copious meal takes everybody up to green, but it only leaves us, what, I'd, I'd like you guys to have good morale for tomorrow. So you know what, have a copious meal today. And then uh, space me to skip to the next morning. The fire is strong and very visible. The fire is very strong. Nobody can miss it. Well, we produce like... I bet we're not going to produce any wood tomorrow because we're going to build something. So you know what? Why don't we just put a little bit of extra wood on the fire now? And then space me. By the way, this is Deluvian Winds. Exclamation park Deluvian Winds. I say exclamation park. Exclamation mark Deluvian wins. Check it out for yourself. It just came out in uh, early access on Steam today. An Animal Crossing meets uh, Spiritfarer meets Cult of the Lamb meets A24 Robert Eggers The Lighthouse. Today is violent wind, lots of insects, worse vegetables, worse fires. Okay. There's no Dark Souls connected to this one. What's your problem? Wood veg or veg wood? Hey, I'm building something. What would be the most useful for the community? Um, I would say for now, we, we mainly need vegetables. It's always nice that food lets us have more morale. This one's yours. Thanks, I appreciate that. Then, we'll skip to the next phase. Hello to the squad. I like insects. I will breed them. And I'm looking for traveling buddies. I would love it if you sent me to work with another traveler. Could we get could we get two individuals building something? You will only work at the insect hole. Go ahead. And then Evelyn, what do you got? You will you will only work. I don't even think I can put you to work in the vegetable garden, can I? I can only put you to work in the woodcutter's lab. And Morgan, the same. You're producing way too much wood today. Nobody's, nobody's gonna be producing any, any lettuce from the greenhouse, man. All right, well, space me. We have too much wood. We should build a boat. Let's add insects to the menu. Sure, yeah, I think today, I mean, we have 23 insects, poor meal, frugal meal, copious meal, two insect parts, one green salad part. Confirm me. Insect spring rolls. Insect spring rolls with a side of vegetables. Hey, that's not, listen, does great for making vegetables and insects, doesn't do great for making metal, but we don't have a metal producer anyway. You're gonna starve in the next five turns? I'm not gonna starve in the next five turns, okay? Because after the tutorial, they're gonna let, let me assign my animals where I wish to assign them, and then we're gonna be fine. Because I'm better at managing this than the walrus. We should definitely pop um, 50 onto this. We'll probably waste one wood as a result, but that's okay. We had a huge wood surplus there. Skip me to the next morning. Cuckoo Kachu. So true. Light rain. Good for fishing. Travelers have no requests. Evelyn is leaving today, though. I'm hoping I can build, like, a metal, metal mine. Can I build a mine or something? We should improve the lighthouse's housing capacity. I could build some housing with the appropriate amount of wood. Please do, Morgan. Build me some housing for 30 wood. We'll pop it right there. You can sleep right above the insect den. 
It's called the penthouse. But the more, the, the more housing you build, the more people you can accommodate. But the more people you accommodate, the more people eat. But the more people eat, the better their morale gets. When the better their morale gets, the more resources they get for working. The more resources you get for building, the more housing you can build. The more housing you build, the more people come to your place, which means the more food you need. But when you eat the more food, you get better morale, which means you can build more stuff, but then you get more housing and you need more people. With it. Anyway, everything's fine. Evelyn, we get a choice today, a choice. Well, if, if we're going to be building so much, what are you good at again? You're good at, at vegetables and you're good at um, wood cutting. And then your specialty is insects. So I honestly, why don't you just go ahead and gather some insects? It's what you do best. You, also, you don't do so bad at the vegetables either, to be fair. But you're going to leave soon, so maybe we'll stockpile some insects. And I'm feeling like, Evelyn, what could you build for us? Another greenhouse, another woodcutter's cabin. Won't be necessary. Um, I think maybe vegetables. Sure, just go get some food. Don't, don't freak out too much. Everything's going to be fine. Just keep a balanced amount of resources. So far, very cozy. We haven't had to face any strife yet. It's like the first chapter of Lord of the Flies. Well, maybe like the second chapter, because the first one is like, like the boat accident, and they barely live. But then like the second chapter, they're like, it's great. And then the third chapter, they're like, get him. And then in the fourth chapter, like I think it was all a prank. Anyway, um, sure, we'll have, a, we'll have a copious meal. That's Insect Ratatouille. Chat's favorite Pixar movie. There's nothing wrong with this. It's not an insult. It's a great movie. The fire is very strong. I would still toss like 10 on it while we can. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save my resources. Because maybe we can build something tomorrow with, with new animals. Day six. We're about to finish the tutorial. I'm insane at gaming. A cute little duck. Okay, let me see. This is... Elmer has returned. <laughs> Remaining rerolls? <laughs> let me see here. We got a beaver. What can you build? You could build a garden to improve morale. Otters are... Oh, your beaver. Sorry, beaver. My mistake. Beavers are great at handling wood, and they are land-based. When the weather is foggy or thick fog, they're not doing so great. But when the weather is foggy, Elmer goes crazy mode. And you can build housing. I'd love to... Let's get a... We got three... Oh, we, we're taking all three. Never mind. Okay, sure. Confirm them. Hello. Goodbye. They shouldn't make the animals so cute because it feels bad when they leave. I'd just gotten attached to them. If you change your mind, you can click cancel task before entering the next phase and assign your traveler a different task. The weather forecast isn't good. There will be a storm in the next three days which may cause dangerous waves that will come crashing against the lighthouse. The rooms closest to the ground are always the most vulnerable. We must reinforce our rooms if we want to avoid losing them. It costs resources, but it's still better than going back to square one. The island apocalypses. The island regularly undergoes apocalyptic phases during which natural disasters will strike the hamlet. Such phases are shown on the weather forecast. One or several disasters will manifest during an ap apocalyptic phase. Each phase ends with rainbow weather, which heralds the return of better days and grants several boons. Okay, so we, we have a downpour, tidal wave level two. Morgan, what do you got? Reinforce. The rooms closest to the ground are the, are the most vulnerable. So let's, can we reinforce the lighthouse? No. We will reinforce 
our insect zone. Good, this room now has an extra health point. It should survive the next catastrophe. How about you, Elmer? We could have you do anything. I feel like, what, what can you build? Greenhouse woodcutter's cabin? We're not that interested in that. Instead, why don't you um, work and work in the greenhouse? And then Morgan, you can build housing. I would love it if you, if you would. Can I not get you to, you can cancel? Wait, do I already have you doing something? I do, I, sorry, I was a uh, wrong menu. You can build a garden or a woodcutter's cabin. Why don't you build a garden? Maybe we should have somebody reinforce this as well, but why don't you build a garden? Oh, but then it's gonna get hit and it's gonna need to be like reinforced. We should have built some stuff at the... You know what, let me see, cause this is like two days out. You could probably like, you could probably just build it and reinforce it next time. We still got 20 wood. And then Billy, what are you good at? Insects and you could build housing as well. You cannot reinforce. Well, you know what, for now, why don't you just generate some insects and we'll... Or you could generate some wood. Maybe generate some insects. Where's our insect hole? It's being reinforced right now. I'm a fool, I'm a fool. We could probably organize this better, but you know what, this will take us to max vegetables anyway. Look, they're not so efficient right now, but whatever. Everybody's just enjoying their life. Sometimes the electrician wants to do plumbing for their mental health. And who am I to disagree? Let me get a... How do we feel about Ratatouille here? Carmen... No, nobody's going fully blue on that one. What if we made a new recipe? Everyone goes fully blue. We'll be a little light on insects. But hey, a vegetable and insect bento. Vegetables plus seven, insects plus seven. A story by the fire? We don't need to go off on bento boxes. We've already, uh, we've already talked about it. I'm not a huge fan of the bento. I feel like for the most part, you would be better off ordering an entree-sized portion of what your favorite part of the bento is, rather than compromising and getting a little bit of variety, but there's very inconsistent quality in the average bento, is my personal opinion. We don't need to go back with it. I'm just saying if you want tempura, maybe it's better to get a little appetizer tempura and then something else that you want instead of like you get two pretty bad gyozas and then like a horrible salad and then like, oh, I wanted sushi, but then they give you four pieces of like their worst roll. Anyway. I'll take morale. Let's, let's see if we can get everybody like pumping tomorrow. If we can get everybody up to exalted, that would be great. The fire is all right. Fire is strong. Let's save 20 wood. You never know if we're, if we're going to need it. Keep the fire lit until day nine. I'll summon an even smaller man. I'll summon an even larger man. Day seven. Okay. Take, take me to the morning. It's our build phase. Now let me think about what we need here. We're, we're okay on food. We would love to have some reinforcements. Ryan asked what I wanted for dinner yesterday and I was too self-conscious to say sushi. It's all right, I knew you were thinking it. You know what I should say next time? I should just say, do you want sushi for dinner? Now you, are you capable of reinforcing? Yes, you are. You're also capable building a storeroom or housing. And what are you good at? <laughs> Metal. Bad at insects? You're the perfect reinforcer. A licky boom boom down. So let's reinforce you for a little bit of wood. But then we won't be able to gather any wood to get our, our lighthouse pump in tonight. But we'll survive. What's the weather today? Fire minus two. It is what it is, brother. I'm going woodless. Reinforce me. Elmer, what are you good at? Greenhouse and woodcutter. Well, 
I mean, we might just go super lettuce tonight. Make sure everybody's happy. So, I mean, it'd be nice to get some insects. We are insectless. You know what? You're probably better on a reinforce then. Let's reinforce this garden we just built. Carmen, you on the other hand. I'm gonna I'm gonna have you work on these uh, insects. I know it's not really your cup of tea. Oh, but wait, you could do really well on the salads because you get the bentos. But that's fine. That's well, you know, you could do great there. Okay. And then Billy, what do you got going on here? Not really gonna build anything, so we'll just have you work. We'll have you pick. I mean, there you should be eating good tonight. Space me. Why is Carmen not a chameleon? Are you suggesting that she comes and goes? We should eat at least 30 of those. That takes us to copious. Not everybody's thrilled though, and we can, we can afford to eat tonight. It's a feast. It only changes, it doesn't change anybody's mood to go to feast, so I'll just confirm you on this one. Look at this. They're loving it. Okay, let's see if we survive the tidal wave. No fish, no sushi. What are you talking about? You can, uh, you can order fish, you can order sushi. I love fish. I like sushi, but oftentimes when we order sushi, I could order something that's not sushi from the menu. I'm not shaming her. It's the same thing, like my wife has me pegged. I was going to say in more ways than one, but that's not what I meant. If she ever asks me what I want to order, she already knows it's going to be either Mexican food or like Nando's or something like that. So she like she bakes it in to begin with. Like I, I, the interaction will usually be like, "What do you want for dinner tonight?" And I'm like, "I don't really care. What do you want for dinner tonight?" And then she's like, "You can choose." And then I'm like, "How about Mexican?" And then I already know that that's a built-in no, but you have to get that out there to then move the conversation forward. Okay, the fire is starting to go out. It needs reviving. Oops, I probably should have kept a little wood then. What's wrong with Mexican? It's just not my wife's cup of tea. Keep the fire lit until day nine. Imagine if I failed the tutorial on day eight, bro. My housing! Oh. Yes, that's a good way to describe it. Mexican food is the chump blocker in the card game that is marriage. The storm rages. This is our last chance to reinforce our weakest rooms. Okay, we're not going to reinforce our weakest rooms, probably, because we have zero wood. Instead, we're going to... You, you should work, and you should generate a lot of wood for us, because you're happy and you ate ratatouille. It's because when you eat beans, I have to suffer your farts. You know what? Tr true, true. That's pretty true. I can't afford it. I should have known. We could always use some insects. Are you a good insect user? Not really. You can give us 25... Insects, actually that's not that bad. And Billy, 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 how you doing? You might as well give us some vegetables, I suppose. I mean, you could just go hang out in the garden, but it's about to be beset by a tidal wave. Hey, step on itis thank you for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. He won't fart in front of me, but he farts in front of our daughter. Yes, I understand the pecking order. My life will get worse if I make my life's, my wife's life worse. But I have dominion over our child. And also she just laughs. Like whenever I fart in front of her, she goes like, you, you're a farter. And then I go like, I'm a farter. And she goes, yeah, you're a farter. And I'm like, you got me. Also, if I didn't fart in front of my wife and my daughter, I would explode because there's no 
other opportunity to fart. I'm not going to fart it up on stream. And then apart from that, I'm like around them the rest of the day. So like I'd, I would just die. Because like I, I'm not farting for fun. I'm farting like for, it's, they're medicinal. We can, we can be very spendy. Everybody's thrilled. We could be very spendy on our lettuce here. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Oh, like you're doing right now? Go outside in the driveway? Yeah, but then I'd be like to tossing my shoes on and then taking them off like 10 times a day. Okay, you ate? I was kind of... Don't we get to reinforce the fire a little bit? Please? Thank God. I would like the fire to... I, I don't think there's a reason not to max it out. We get to keep nine in reserve. I think you have all the knowledge you need. Good luck. Okay. Space me. Let's see how the tidal wave goes. And Hatuli, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Gondor calls for aid. Hello, it's me. I'm blowing the horn. Hello. So the housing is definitely going to die. That was poor resource management on our behalf. But it happens. Everything else kind of just chilling. No sweat. Perfect wave to surf. Yeah, if you're uh, Lilo and or Stitch, maybe. I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Oh, they love it. Fire minus one. Everything else gets a huge bonus. How have you never seen Lilo and Stitch? Because I was like 14 when it came out. I was too busy watching pure garbage like Triple X, the Xander Cage story. Um, available housing? We'll, t we'll take them all, man. Why wouldn't we? Hello. What about Triple X State of the Union? It's the one with Ice Cube, right? I haven't seen that one yet. Hey, Keeper. By sticking together, we should be able to clean up the hamlet way faster. Where should we start? Metal remains or wood? Give me some metal because we don't have any yet. That sounds great. We've, we've ac accomplished our goal, I think. Um, let's travel to the next phase of the day. The building phase. If you lack time or want to experience the game at a faster pace, you can click the auto skip box above the wheel once the tasks of the day are finished the game will automatically move up to the next day you know what hit me with a check on that one let me see we got we got mice mice build storerooms and housing bears are good at insects i think that we could use some insects so today what do you build you also build housing why don't you farm up some insects for us Let's have one mouse uh, clean up the wood so that we can build something else there. And then one more mouse. We have nine wood at present. Honestly, your best possible job right now, I think, is to generate more wood for us so we can rebuild the colony tomorrow. Go ahead and give me 28 extra wood. I'm starting to figure it out. Feeling very cozy right now. So it's an accomplishment to make a cozy game that features regular tidal waves. You, call me a hater if you want. 
if if everybody's going to be good on morale off of one insect hit, then we're just going to give them one insect hit. Go ahead. You can have some insect chips that gives you oil plus one. And we're getting every recipe in the game. The fire is strong. I'll give you one little uh, stack on that. Time played 36 minutes, number of days nine. We did it! <laughs> Chapter 1, Day 10, A New Day Begins. The scene needs some cleaning up. As we finish the first phase of the tutorial here, it's a good reminder, this is a sponsored segment. Thank you to, thank you to Goblin Studio for the sponsorship. This is Deluvian Winds, exclamation point, Deluvian Winds. Came out in Steam Early Access today. A cozy game with that occasional terror involved in it as well. A little Animal Crossing, a little Cult of the Lamb. A little oxygen not included. Careful, Keeper, that's dangerous. The waves crash with force, and the rocks are really sharp. I know, maybe it was some sort of crane. Oh, nice idea, I'll take care of it. Don't go down there. We need 120 wood to get a fisher's net. There, we just need to gather the necessary resources. Day 10. Caravan is three days away. Resources looking good. Assemble the necessary resources to build a gathering net. We should be good on food today. This is, you know, it's a very mouth game for sure as well. Because we're basically like building Lego at the same time. I have, I, there's two things I want to do here, okay? I want to generate wood. So if we could have like two mice work as woodcutters. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. A bear and a mouse work as woodcutters. This will take us to 86 wood. And then you, sir, build a storeroom that also allows you to store more materials. And you're going to build it tall. We should build it tall, taller first so that it doesn't need to be as reinforced. Okay. Give that mouse a cookie. Well, and stick it up your yeah. No meal. That's that's not an option. If one insect makes them happy, happy-ish, then one insect is what they'll get. Except why don't let's give them a wood buff here. We'll give them a, a simple green salad. It's a vegetarian colony. The fire is strong and very visible. Well, I'll give you one stack just to keep you going. One day till a caravan shows up. It would be nice to have more housing. Can I, do I have to click on this and then add wood? Yes, I do. I should have done that yesterday. I'm not going to build housing. Am I going to build it? Wait, let me, let me close that for a second. How much does it cost to build housing? It costs 30 wood. 30 wood. All right, you piece. And we're still doing great on food. Could you, could you guys both work in the in the woodcutter's palace? You're generating quite a lot of wood for us as well. Holy cow, 79. Do you have wood for sheep? It's illegal for you to ask me that. How about one lettuce? Mm, that's not good enough. How about one lettuce, one insect? You can have a little vegetable and insect bento. I mean, this is just stuff we've had in the fridge, man. The fire is strong. I'm going to give you one stack on that. Oh, but we should have given you two stacks. Because now we're wasting so... Oh, no, I can just come down here and, and give you this. I'll just pop it in. Oh, baby! Now, what do you got for me? I've spent some time with other communities and have seen them make offerings. 
to the C. We could try. Who knows? Sure, I'll get. I'll lose five vegetables to get ten question marks. What did we get ten of? I think we got more wood. We got. We got more wood. That's great. It's exactly what we needed. Yeah, Kate is not feeling well. I'm. I feel like. <laughs> I'm not sure Kate's opinion on this. I feel guilty that she got sick because of me, but I also feel like that I that she could I should not feel bad that she got sick because of me. Cuz I also am a victim cuz I got sick and I don't even have anybody to direct my anger towards. Like I don't know she knows that she got it from me. But I was the first person in our household to get it. And it just came from somebody like, I don't know, sneezing on me at the grocery store or something like that. So I'm like, I don't have any, if, normally there should be like an Ouroboros where like she's mad at me for getting sick and I'm mad at the person who gave it to me and they're mad at the person that gave it to them. But I'm like, I'm the terminus. I didn't cultivate the, the illness within myself. Somebody else gave it to me and I got nowhere for the guilt to go. And also, we both were guilty of the same thing. I caught an illness from somebody. She caught an illness from somebody. It just so happens that somebody was me. I, trust me, I would have preferred to have not gotten sick as well. Okay, give me, give me all... Oh, I can only take two. Available housing, two. Available housing, two. Well, what do we want? We would like to build more housing. We don't need to build a storeroom. Maybe we can go bear squirrel on this one. Oh yeah, no Peloton talk today? That's because I now have 47 followers on Peloton, so I let my rides do the talking for me. I am one of the most popular personalities on the entire bike with 47 followers. I will say that today I got passed by two individuals that made me feel like maybe I'm cooked. One of them was Katniss Maximoff, and their picture was uh, Wanda from WandaVision. And then the other one was Salt Lick Scrotum. And I don't even know how that name gets past the, the profanity filter, but... Anyway, okay. We, we want to build a gathering net. We'd love to generate a lot of wood today. We are going to need some more food. Bear, you are going to work at the insect hole. That looks great. One mouse, you are going to... One squirrel, sorry. What is, let, me, let me rephrase here. Cancel me. One squirrel, you're going to work in the lettuce hole. Two mice. Mice can't do wood cutting. Oh, I've, I'm looking at the wrong individuals again. You can do wood cutting. You'll generate 20 you'll generate 20, and we'll get some housing going after that, hopefully. Anyone notice how loud he's breathing? Careful, I did, I, I permitted someone two days ago for saying, anyone notice how loud he's breathing? And then their on-ban request was like, please, I'm literally just a guy. So I did on-ban them. How about this, wait, you're, you guys are all green? That's it, green? You're not even going to blue? You're not going to blue with it with any of this. All right, I'll I'll feed you. You get scraps then. You get a frugal meal. Yes, but you taught us that trick. Yeah, and then for like weeks I said you got to stop saying it because you're scaring the hose. And then people went, <laughs> and then they started getting banned for it, and they're like, "What the fuck?" I told you. You you were warned. Okay, so everything's great in the village right now. You reap what you sow? No, you, I, I reap and I sow. You get perma. That's the way that this goes here, okay? Are we going to build housing today? Possibly. In that case, save 30 for housing. 
I know what we must do. Clure. You are going to build. I only have 25. <laughs> I'd like to... What does reinitialize mean? All right. Well, it happens. Um, in that case, we're just going to work another day. And we may whistle while we do, while we do so. Um, who's staying the longest here? Eliza. And Peggy. Why don't you go to the, the temple then and just enjoy a little bit of rest? And then we'll have both of our mice collect wood. And then the bear can play to his strengths and uh, gather some insects. Maybe we could have a copious meal tonight. Collect wood. You know that one? Gather wood. A huge meal of insect chips. A feast of insect chips? They're, they're really not that into it. A copious meal of insect spring rolls. Well, they're not doing so great on morale, I gotta be honest. We need to save 30 wood. This will leave us with 45. This will leave us with 35. But then we won't have enough for housing. But we'll at least get the fishing done, which is a huge drag on our wood supply. Maybe because you're feeding them bugs? Brother, these are they're animals. Natural disaster, tidal wave level 1. Okay. Do me a favor. We have completed our fishing net. We can't really catch any fish, but we can gather drifting debris barrels and crates, which will clean up the coastline. All right. Well, that's, I'm assuming that's like some free resources for us, basically. And we're going to need more wood because we need to reinforce in like the next two days. In fact, we just need like a staggering amount of wood. You are the best at gathering. You're also good at gathering. You should be assigned to fish. It'll give us resources we're unaware of. And you should again generate insects. It's going to be an insect heavy diet. So be it. They want McDonald's french fries. Well, I want a toilet made of solid gold, but something's just staying in the cards for us. I can't put fish or lettuce on because we don't have 10. <laughs> Everybody's chilling with some insect chips. It takes way too much to, to get any more morale boost. Then you know what? We'll, we'll give them... We might as well at least give you 30. That way we're not letting some rot. And tell a story. It's Eliza's birthday. Sure, I'll spend... It's, it's a birthday, you monster! Of course we're gonna spend 10 extra insects. You can have some more insect chips. It's your birthday. It only comes around once a year. I'm going to not put any wood on the fire tonight. Chapter 2 projects. We need to make this space sturdier. That's a blueprint. Well, I think it is. If you squint, it also looks like a very ripe banana. I can't even fully unfold it. We'll have to clean up this room before we look further into it. Okay. We, we got a, a disaster coming tomorrow, which means today is all about reinforcement. We have three available housing. We will take... All individuals. And we will say goodbye to a mouse. I don't even bother lear learning their names anymore. It's like I'm running a hostel. Um, hello. 
I found a jar of pickles that must date back to my great-grandmother. Judging by its color, it could make great fertilizer bait or a wonderful feast for insects. I'll take the fish. Thank you, Eliza. That way we... Don't we have enough fish? Now? I mean, shouldn't that have taken us to 14 fish? Apparently not. Apparently I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, today we're... We may need some food, okay? You're staying for two days, you're staying for one day. Let's get some reinforcements up, please. You're a, you're a two-piece, right? Or are you not a two? It's hard to tell. You had one piece broken. This, maybe this shows a damage preview. So these are both going to lose one. This is going to lose one. And this is probably just going to be dead, right? Costs 25 wood to reinforce. It costs 25 uh, wood to reinforce. That's crazy. It's not a preview. Well, what is like a, what does a broken shield mean then? Is this like one and a half? It's like you take. Oh, that means it was repaired. Okay. So it costs less to redo it. Oh, okay. So, like, are you... On the bottom layer, it's going to take two, and on the top layer, it's going to take one? I don't know. I don't know the answer. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Anything with one is going to be reinforced. Even at heavy costs. Oscar, what are you good at? You can build a fisher's cabin. That's useful. You can also build a pantry to store food. Okay, we don't really have any of that, so just go fish for me, please. Did I... I think I... There we go. We got you. Mimi. We still have a lot of wood. We could use more. If, if anything, why don't you gather 25 wood for us? And then, Benz, if you could do me a favor and, and reinforce... this then next turn we can gather food from the insects and then we can repair the wood supply yeah 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 we're just we're, we got to balance our resource usage we don't want to leave ourselves with like a drought next time or a, a a starvation i should say which is definitely not the phrasing there everybody you're having some sashimi today Fish soup, metal plus three. The fire's starting to go out. Well, there you go. We're gonna give you... I'm getting a little spicy. I'm gonna give you one of these. Sometimes being in this situation means you gotta go without. And then... It's only hitting the bottom layer. This means you guys are going to die. Or the buildings are going to collapse, I should say. So. What do we need today? We need to repair these two and we need food. So. Who's good at gathering food? You're good at gathering vegetables. Please do. And then if we could have Mimi do a woodcutter's reinforcement and then Ben's do a garden reinforcement and then Oscar please go fishing for us yet again you think they ever thought about moving like a mile inland you, you, you raise a good point you beg a good question well, you're, you're a strange guy, Seymour, but you steam a mean ham. I'd like everybody to at least be at blue happiness, please. Brother, they are... They're, they're picky. They don't want... Here's the thing. You're screwing yourself out of a better meal. You know why? 
because I want to feed you until you're happy, but you get a little bit of a mood bonus from eating almost nothing, and then you don't get another mood bonus until you're bursting at the seams. So guess what? You're only getting the green salad tonight. I've been traveling the world for a while since the weather went mad. Do we want morale or wood? Wood's easy to gather, morale's a little tougher. Give me some morale. Look, they're all blue. Their bellies aren't full, but they learned a beautiful story. We must revive the fire tonight. The fire is almost out and may not last till tomorrow. It's perfect um, resource management. They're like, they're like, my tidal wave is too strong for you, traveler. Nobody's surfing on this one. There it goes. And look, everything's fine. Can you believe it? Now tell me that the lighthouse also survived. Tell me that the fire stayed going. Uh, <laughs> there's no light coming off of it. I would say today is a great day to um, gather some wood so we don't fail. That seems sensible. You watched any NBA? Not at all. But I still... Listen, I haven't watched much of the NHL playoffs post-round one either. I think it's hilarious. This has to go down as one of like the least climactic uh, conference finals of all time. The NHL playoff conference finals were both sweeps. One NBA conference final was a sweep, and then the other one is like 3-1 at game five. It's crazy, man. This is what it used to be like before the salary cap in the NHL when the... Um... Oh, wait, Dallas hasn't lost yet? Sorry, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> My mistake. Dallas is still kicking. Yeah, but like they, also, they, lost, the, um, they lost the room as well, right? Like anybody that was pro-Dallas after the Jamie Benn hit and then the Jamie Ben apology where he said obviously if I could go back in time I wouldn't fall down and use his neck as the point of impact of my stick or whatever it's could have just said emotions got the better of me and I'm sorry instead if I could obviously if I had a time machine I wouldn't fall down with my stick on his neck anyway sorry we need to let's let's get some focus going here we need to rebuild ourselves. Eliza? You're plus three on wood? Go gather some food. You are plus three on wood. Go oh, because you're satisfied. We can't really build anything. I think, I think you're more of a... You're our fisher for now. And then you are... You can build some housing, but we're not going to do that just yet. We, if anything... I think we could do maybe, um, do me a favor, gather some salads, and then you do me a favor, and I think you're also going to gather me some wood. We're going to need to stockpile some wood. Dunka, 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 dunka. I think we're using too much oil. We've all got our own individual lanterns. How about one... Let's get a new recipe. How about a, a double fish? How about a single fish plus an insect? That takes them all to blue. No, we should not use insects. We should use lettuce instead. Let's have a sashimi salad. Fish and vegetable bento. Better at fishing, better at vegetables. The fire is out. We must revive it tonight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The fire is all right, but it's not very bright. That's all right. I'm saving some money. Or I'm saving some wood to get housing tomorrow. Because then with more houses, more people, more people, better colony, better colony, bigger number, bigger number, better person. 
he he really do be taking his time cleaning up the basement. Like it looks pretty nice to me. Eliza and Oscar don't agree about the proper way to work. They're asking for a third opinion. Let's take... I'm sorry. I'm going to agree with Oscar on this one. I'm going to say more wood, less morale for Eliza. Sorry that you're merely satisfied. We want to build housing. Mice build housing. Costs 30 wood. Great stuff. Eliza bit is so good. And Peggy. The Skylar sisters. Is that what we're saying here? Are we saying, look around, look around. The revolution's happening in New York. Now the whole song stuck in my head. It's a good song. I mean, I, my, my target demo. I don't know if Jay's still here. My, my target demo, or just the demo that targets me, actually, is, is for whatever reason, and that, well, let's call them not anti-Hamilton, uh, but they're a, uh, they're, well, they're anti-Hamilton. Many of them have not even seen it, which is fair. They just uh, assume that it would be cringeworthy because it's like historical figures rapping. But if anything, the fact that the premise is so cringeworthy but the execution is so good is actually more of a testament to the quality of the work. Because it's like, much like something like The Good Place, it's on the sleeve sincerity should make it easier to mock, and it is easier to mock, and yet somehow the emotions still come through. What about a well-balanced meal to say goodbye here? A triplicate meal. A complete platter? Wow, what the, it, they, it's good for their morale, but it makes them horrible at gathering resources? Fire's starting to go out. Fire's strong. You know what, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna save some wood to reinforce as fast as I can. Because having to do all the reinforcing right before the apocalypse doesn't seem sensible. My friend had an extra ticket to Hamilton and I went and I'm sorry to say that it was amazing. I mean, that's how I feel too. It's like I would love to be ironically detached and be like actually... Um, some 11-year-olds thought Thomas Jefferson was really cool, and me as a nearly 40-year-old man is like, he's not cool, he was like a bad guy, okay? But it's just, it's damn good. So as I, it would be so much easier to just lie and be like, yeah, I didn't watch that. Rapping Presidents, mm, I listened to Fugazi. Instead, I watched it, and, you know, I, I bawled my eyes out. Okay, don't ever tell me I let my guests go hungry. Requests. All travelers come to your hamlet with a request. Each request must be fulfilled before their stay is over. Successful requests earn you project points. A traveler who's fulfilled their request or no longer has any time left to do so will leave the lighthouse. Okay, so you can cycle units a little faster. Finish the inventor's request. There's a tech tree. This is not a drill. No request, no request, no request. What was the inventor's request? <laughs> Did I miss something? I've only got three lads too. I've got more houses, I've only got three lads. What have I done? We were experiencing population decline. Nobody saw. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What should we do today? We're gonna, with only three individuals, we're going to be fine on food. I think our fire was not so bad. The weather tomorrow is going to be foggy. Nothing serious. Oh, he's in your basement. He's in your basement. What's your request? 
Insects for dinner? Yeah, I think I can accomplish that. <laughs> oh, man. He's in your basement killing your dudes. Let me think. Let me think. This will be a great time to save ourselves from the apocalypse. I think every, like, all individuals today can um, do, well, we could do a reinforcement on the house. Which to me then means we'd love to have some wood, like, in reserve. So why don't you do me a favor and, and work to gather some more wood? And then, uh, I mean, we're fine on other resources, quite frankly. Why don't you just go ahead and uh, maybe do some fishing? I mean, we got the ingredients for it. We might as well. I'm in your base, spinning your joels. You want insects for dinner? I can do that. Oh, you are you are very unhappy. Can I get you to I can't Roger, you're gonna need the rest tomorrow, man. I'll give you some insects and fish. Here's a little lad who loves insects and fish. Fish and insect bento. It's bad for generating wood. It did give us five blueprints though. Holy cow. Oh, the crunch, that juice, the fat, the gravy. Oh, the gravy. I remember the blueprint. I used a very similar one as a tablecloth. You know, Keeper, such a well-performed request will surely fill up your knowledge meter. Sharing is a principle, a principle founding of science. Adaptation. Great movie. Maybe, maybe the I, as an adult, it brings me no pleasure to say adaptation, perhaps the best Charlie Kaufman screenplay. Mm, I know, Gen Z is all about the Schenectady New York, and I also, I mean, The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, one of my favorite movies of all time. But, I mean, adaptation's got some very... Special moments and, and great performance from Nicolas Cage. Performance is, I suppose. Now, cost one blueprint to give you a larger net. That seems like a gimme. Project points can be spent to unlock advantages. That was it. I was holding it upside down this whole time. My pleasure. Glad I could help you on my short but delicious stay. I'll move on with my next caravan. Hey, what? Uh, uh, it cost me five to get that? I didn't even look at the other ones. Okay, extra storage. Or Arrivals plus one. I think that's probably what I would have gone with to begin with, is better resource generation. I'm okay with this. We won't have any reinforcing tomorrow, but that's okay. Is Gen Z really all about Schenectady, New York? Brother, it's Gen Z, okay? All it takes to shift the Overton window for Gen Z is one... YouTuber to make a two-hour-long video essay about how it's underappreciated. And then, you know, all the little worker bees that watched it go out to every Twitch chat on the planet, and they're like, well, actually, a lot of pe many people are saying that the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, is one of the only, the last true blockbusters of the 2000s. All they do is eat hot chip and talk about Schenectady, New York, okay? Keeper, keeper. By my grandfather's pipe, what is that thing? No clue. Some sort of lizard? I found it nearby. Help me carry it. It's in bad shape. I'm not a lizard. I'm a salamander. Like those monsters that swim in fire? That's a stereotype. Let's find a bed. It needs treatment. Roger Ebert did say Schenectady, New York was one of his favorite movies of the decade. Yeah, but what, is, what did that guy know about movies at the end of the day? I'm, I'm more of a fan of Roger Ebert for his opinion on video games. I found a jar of pickles that must date back to my great-grandmother. Judging by its color, it could make for great fertilizer bait or a wonderful feast for the insects. Um, fish seems valuable. Give me some, give me some fish. We need some more individuals as well. Let me think about how we're doing this today. We're good on food. We could use more wood. We could gather wood. Unsatisfied. Are you all unsatisfied, by the way? Unsatisfied, unsatisfied. How long are you staying? When do you leave? One day, three days, three days? Okay, enjoy being unsatisfied. Because I, I got stuff to do, I'm sorry to say. Gather me some wood. 
gather me some wood. And then you, I'm like, listen, you're getting 37 wood. You can eat a nice salad today. You're staying for three days, right? You got three days in you? Why, why don't you go sip on some tea? And we'll at least we'll take you up to a green. And they are not happy. By spending all of our food on a huge green salad that's a frugal meal, we can at least get them to, to yellow. And the fire, it's doing just fine. We should look at the weather, though. I just Once everything's reinforced, then we can focus on our expansion a little bit. Absolutely, Dude, we're going to have such great vegetable harvesting. It's a great day for fish as well. Um, hello. I found this while clearing out some debris. I can keep it for myself or trade it for something else if you'd like. I'll take a minus five wood for a plus ten something else. Plus ten lettuce for five wood. We accept that for now, I think. Let me see. You're leaving today. You're leaving in two days. Mina, you're doing all right. You should harvest something. Man, you are not great. <laughs> How about fishing? What's your fishing like? Question marks? You, do me a favor. Can you get some like reinforcement going on? Uh, just on the garden. Let's, why, why not get the expensive one done first? And then Bryn, going to have you do some reinforcement on the wood. That way we can gather wood next turn anyway. 15 fish. That's a pretty good get. I need to get the caravan upgrade so that I can get more workers. Like, we're, we're, our colony is suffering due to a lack of workers right now. Okay, well, here's the thing. If two people are going to be like, you're, you're not going to be able to do any work tomorrow. But that's okay, because one of you is leaving. What are we going to do tomorrow? Not metal. We'll do wood. Okay. Nobody wants to work these days. It's, it's damn true, unfortunately. Especially when they've only eaten a couple of leaves of lettuce and like the, the, a few mealworms. Blue skies and sunshine. It's a great day to harvest some vegetables. Now, if we fulfill some requests, we get some blueprints, we get more people coming in the caravans, and then we're chilling. Hello, gamers. Is my salamander ready to party? No. Keeper, would you like to join us for some exercise? Yes, I would love to get plus two vegetables for everybody. That guy's going to leave a bad Yelp review. You're not wrong. I have to imagine that he's not going to be too happy with his time in the colony. But, like, here's the thing. This isn't, like, woof, you know? Like, we're here to, to work, brother. Yo, we got we got five individuals now. We got five individuals now. Let's go. Okay, what do we need today? We've got some good reinforcing. We could always use some more, but we've reinforced wood. So anybody that's in a a good mood, morose was morose. Like you can't. All you can do is rest. Okay. Well. You might as well. You're in a decent mood, but who, squirrels are great at getting uh, vegetables, right? So why don't you gather some vegetables? I mean, that in and of itself is crazy. Greenhouse squirrel, blue sky, plus extra motivation. Go ahead. Ben Nevis. 
Request is to work with one traveler gives blueprints plus two. Doesn't that mean he's going to like... Well, if we just put them both on wood, we're going to complete both of their blueprints, but then aren't they both also going to leave? <laughs> and then Mina. What, what's your request? You got no request. We're going to get 27 lettuce. Could always use some more food today. Go crazy on the food. Holy cow, we're insane. Plus 11 blueprints. This colony is really starting to pop off. Now, aren't, aren't half of them going to leave now because they've fulfilled their, their meaning in life? Yes, that is correct. Multiple people are going to leave. Yo, but Salmi is staying for Infinity War. I would like to see... Every, uh, t we got enough food today. I would love to see individuals get green or blue. Bro, Salmi, you're, you're posting cringe. Little little ratatouille for you. No, they only leave when the caravan shows up. Okay, noted. Okay. Good job. Two blueprints. I would love to get arrivals plus one. Wait, but what about these? Unlocks tier two for squirrels. We don't need new buildings. Further forecast. Unlocks tier two for otters. Okay, give me arrivals plus one. I think that's a big one. Unlocks tier two for mice. Max wood, metal, and oil go up. We'll, we'll unlock that just because it has the right cost right now. I think our colony is freaking chillin'. And I'm not afraid to say it. You should reinforce. Cost you five wood. Cost 30 wood to reinforce that, but it would be sensible. Excuse me, heat wave. We're not going to be able to fish pretty soon. What about today? Today's another good day for vegetables. Squirrel, you're on vegetable duty. Getting 30 of those, pretty solid. Um, I mean, for morale purposes, I was just going to say we could have you generate an insects, but we can't actually. How about like a bunch of wood? How's your remaining morale? You guys are in the green. There's not, nothing wrong with that. What's Salmi doing? Where's, where, did I already have Salmi do something? They're probably... I mean, they're resting again today. Maybe they just felt well yesterday. Okay, Bryn. Do me a favor. I'm going to have you uh, do some fishing in the basement. They are warming themselves by the fire. They're, uns they're unsatisfied, but if they become happy, they get blueprints. I'm going to have to feed you like crazy, aren't I? I'm realizing that that's the, it's the only way. Well, in that case, go ahead, brother. We're doing some heavy vegetable harvesting today. 76 vegetables, if we could just get morale high. Preferred noodle. I think I'm very particular about my pasta tastes. Or even like my, my Asian noodle tastes. Um, and I don't think that it's sensible. I think that it's a little bit insane. But like, you know what's weird to me is I do not like spaghetti at all. But I love linguine, and it's almost the same noodle. Like, a, spaghetti is just a round noodle, and linguine is just a flat noodle. But otherwise, they're, like, almost identical. And I, for, if you were going to give me, like, a, a clam spaghetti, I would be like, you've lost your mind. But a clam linguine, I'm like, mmm, yum, sounds delicious. How do you not like spaghetti? I'm like the opposite. I'm like, how do you like spaghetti? We can't eat this much, man. Like, my, my spaghetti theory is that people only like it because they grew up eating it. If they grew up eating, like, uh, you know, 
orzo instead, people would be like, oh, yum, orzo is my comfort food. Give you a little top up. I'm not a, I'm just not a spaghetti guy. I like linguine. I like, um, I mean, who doesn't like tortellini? Gnocchi. Penne's fine. Not a big rotini guy. Rotini always makes me feel like I should be eating like a pasta salad or something like that. Of course, ravioli. Confirm me. Farfalle. I love a farfalle. I love an orecchiette. I'm not that into the macaronis. I'm not that into the bucatinis. And for Asian noodles, I'm even more picky, which is, I know I'm not much of a picky eater, but I, um, I like a ramen, and then I don't really love any of the other ones. I, I, an udon is like it picks up too much broth for me. And then a soba, I'm just, I'm not all about it. I'm just, for whatever reason, the, the soba doesn't strike me. I'm a, I'm a ramen guy. Pho? I mean, I like pho, yeah. I don't really like vermicelli. I suppose I am not buckwheat pilled. Okay, let me think about what we need today. Anybody have uh, available requests? No, all the requests have been handled. Okay. Today, tomorrow's a heat wave. So fishing is going to be bad, but vegetables will always be there for us. We have 43 wood. You should reinforce this for 30 wood. And now no apocalypse can kill us. Cleopatra will be found by no man. Today, why don't we go a little heavy on the insects? Elias, what are you good at? You're, you're a squirrel. You're good at getting vegetables. Go ahead and get some vegetables. That's a plus 30 for us. Cleo, you're good at vegetables, fish, insects, and wood. Why don't you go ahead and do some fishing while, while we can? And then you, I mean, if you want, you could gather. Well, you know what? Probably wood is a sensible get here. Yeah, quite a bustling colony, though. Most underrated snack, and why is it rice cakes? I am I think the media put a hit out on rice cakes. The fact that so many people are like, rice cakes are tasteless, kind of blows me away. They're literally covered in, like, flavored powder. If you're eating plain rice cakes, like, that's your own fault. It's like only eating Lay's potato chips and being like, oh, chips are bad. You've lost your mind. Okay, we're, gonna, we're still going to be vegetable heavy. We can hold up to 40. Let's go with this then. Give you a little juice. Rice cakes with the white cheddar powder are, are great as far as I'm concerned. And the crispy minis go hard too. Available housing for. Uh, the, the colony has never popped like this before. Become happy. That's like the only thing I can't complete. We're going straight up the tech tree, man. Available housing for. What is this, Vancouver? Okay, oh, you know what? Plus two. Plus two you on that one. We had two days of heat waves. Not good for fishing. Not really good for anything, really. And then so many people want to become happy. You, Ed, Evelyn, anybody here good at producing wood? If the meal includes fish, you get happy. Okay. Well, you know what we should do then? If your goal is to become happy and you're already neutral, then go rest here and we'll feed you a nice meal tonight. Your goal is insects for dinner. That's very it's doable, but we need to harvest some more insects. So you know what? Why don't you harvest some insects yourself? Your goal is to produce 50 wood. Your goal is to become happy. 
We want to have a good meal tonight. I think I'm going to have you go here. It's going to be harder to make you happy later. Oh, you're, al you're already in there. Sorry, my mistake. Insects for dinner. Your, your goal is to become happy. Go ahead and, and rest here. Get close to happiness. And then you should... We're getting insects as well. It'd be nice to get enough... I mean, it is a heat wave. Fish minus 10. I think you just got to get some vegetables. We'll have a big wood day after we accomplish their happiness, and then we'll just starve them until they leave the colony. So we need two individuals here need to get ecstatic. This is one successful uh, request. Bro, they will not get ecstatic. I'm still going to keep your morale high. I'm going to feed you a copious meal, and then we'll just have them rest again. Okay, first three blueprints. Burp, burp, burp. Keep it going. We'll need some wood tomorrow. Still a heat wave. What's coming next? Natural disaster, tidal wave level one. Well, this is why we did all our reinforcing earlier. So we're, as far as I'm concerned, we're great right now. We don't, we don't have to reinforce anything. Minus five wood plus 10 question marks. Honestly, today, I got to hit you with a no thanks. You can keep it on that one. I'm sorry to say. This is like when they bring in donuts to make all the miserable workers happy. What are you talking about? Half of my workforce literally just drank tea in the garden all day. This is like Google during the uh, zero interest rate period. This is a damn dream. You just wait till the tidal wave hits and, you know, uh, refinancing your mortgage puts you on like a 6.7 or something like that. Then, you'll, then you're going to get some damn dough. You'll be happy for the donuts. Okay, we need to produce some wood and obviously... Wait, who needs to be happy? You need to become happy. Boom. Mission accomplished. Don't say I never did anything for you. You need to become happy. Boom. I literally just saved your life. And I'm probably just going to get slapped in the face for it. Why don't you do me a favor and gather some vegetables? What are you doing, Mysterio? What's up with your hat? You're satisfied? Because of the heat wave, like... We're bad at doing almost everything right now. I know we need to gather some wood. 23. So you know, you go ahead and gather. Some. I know you're only getting 20 off of that, but we need to complete everybody's requests. Eight more blueprints. Ooh, he's crazy. I'm fulfilling everybody's goals. It's like the new season of... Uh, of Queer Eye. I'm sorry to say, because everybody achieved their goals already, we are going to feed you a small green salad. How's the fire doing tomorrow? It's a minus two. It's a minus two. Go ahead. Salad for dinner again. What's your... I love salad. The media put out a hit job on salads, too. I asked my wife what she wanted for dinner last night. She said she wanted a sandwich. I went to the sandwich place. Guess what I got? I got a motherfucking salad. Because I would... I'm, I'm now at the point it's not a compromise anymore. I would rather eat, like, a salad than almost anything else. You can have some mighty tasty salads, man. Let me get a let me get wood here. What was in the salad? Kale, chickpeas, cabbage, some edamame, red peppers. It was actually more like a bowl, I guess, because it did have like a base of, of brown rice as well attached to it. 
and then a grilled chicken breast on top. It was it was tasty. It was as tasty as as you can imagine. That versus like a ham sandwich, not even close. By the way, Daniel, thank you for the raid. Thank you. Much appreciated. That's poke. You don't know, with all due respect, you don't know what you're talking about. So you, do you see any, uh, any taro chips in it? You see any cubed tuna? You see any pineapple or mango? You see any crab salad? That's not a poke, okay? Isn't poke just an applied... Listen, don't debase yourself. We got a lot of words in the English language and we're going to use most of them today, okay? Thank you again, Daniel. Thank you. Poke versus bowl versus bibimbap. Poke and bibimbap are both subsets of the larger set bowl. It's not that complicated. You just need to apply some set theory. Bibimbap is a Korean dish usually consisting of white rice, julienne vegetables, and a spicy sauce called gochujang. Occasionally, you can add some meat to it as well if you so desire, and you could even apply a dolsat in order to get the crispy rice. Poke, uh, an, a, again, a bowl. Uh, a, it's a, a, of Hawaiian origin, a fish salad bowl, usually consisting of cubed tuna or salmon, and then various tropical slash seafood ingredients, crab salad, seaweed, mazago, um, crunchy garlic, crunchy onions, soy sauce, ponzu, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> what do we need today? So we need to produce 50 wood. in order to complete your goal. We can do that today. That's easy mode. You'll give me 27 right off the jump. How about you? 33, boom, mission accomplished. You already had insects for dinner, you're chilling. We are in the, what is today? It's plus five insects. Seems like a beautiful opportunity for us to have a, a very insect heavy meal tonight. Oh, you can only have one worker there. That's fine, that's fine. We could always use more wood. And you know what? It's been quite a long time since the rock and roll. It's been quite a long time since we had fish as well. Take forever. Now, you need to become happy. Can I do that today? I don't think so. I don't really want to make you ecstatic just in time for you to leave. So guess what, everybody? It's a light green salad. <clears throat> Why do your past broadcasts only go back two months on Twitch? Because everybody's past broadcasts only go back two months on Twitch. There's no, you can take the my out of it. That is, uh, Twitch didn't consult me on that decision. That's, a, that's corporate policy. I did not know that. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf. A lot of things appeared in my head that I could say. Instead, I said, you're welcome. Okay, let me see. Available housing four, rerolls three. Produce 34 vegetables, easy mode. Become happy, replaced. Become happy, replaced. Become happy, replaced. Produce 28 fish. Welcome to the squad. That's only for partners. For everybody else, VODs are even shorter. Yeah, but you don't have to worry, because unlike uh, everybody else on this website, I actually highlight my VODs, and then they stick around forever. Somebody left materials on the workbench. Let's take them to storage and see what we get. 10 extra wood. I'll live with that. So you guys are about to be damaged, but that's no big deal. Do 
produce 34 vegetables, produce 28 fish. You're right, we need to build a fishery. I would love it, we, we'll build it next time, because we, we can't really do it this time, because we're going to take some damage. What about, the, you know what, we got 34 wood. Can we have a mouse build a house? Do we even need more housing? We don't at all. Save your wood to build a fishery next turn. Okay. But you should use wood for something, because otherwise... No, we could just put it all on the fire today. Okay. Smart. Smart. Clifford, do me a favor. And, um... Just go fishing. I know you're getting random resources for now. You do me a favor, and... You're kind of terrible at producing vegetables, but by all means. Morgan, why don't you do me a favor? Your goal is to work with a traveler. Okay, we'll have two travelers gather food then. 114 wood's a little psycho. A little crazy with it. Collect wood. Now, we need to have insects for dinner. Did I, I didn't even look. Do I have more than 10 insects? I have 24. Boom. Anybody get in the blue? I, I'll spend all of my resources to get you all blued up. Absolutely. Now, don't say I never did anything for you. We should also probably open this at some point. Unlocks tier 2 for mouse. You get a dormitory. Tier 2 for squirrel. Further weather forecast. Tier 2 for otter. Tier 2 for bear. I feel like we definitely want to be able to produce metal. How does one produce metal? With a mine. Well. And then. Max vegetable, max fish, max insect goes a little higher. Sure, you know what? For now, that seems like a good use of our resources. We should dump 50 wood. We could even dump 60. Just so we don't lose some overnight. What's your favorite woodland creature? Honestly, the, the kind that I see in... Vancouver now and then. I like a squirrel. I know you're not supposed to get close to them because they are disease carriers, but you see them often. They're reasonably cute. They they run funny and they climb things. I like seeing a squirrel. I feel like the, the main benefit of a squirrel is that a squirrel is very uh, common. It's good to like a squirrel because you see them all the time. I also like raccoons, honestly. I think raccoons are, are very cute. And I think, you know, it sucks when they open your trash can to, like, eat your trash. But, brother, they're eating trash. Like, can you just cut them some slack? It'd be worse if they were opening your fridge and eating your ribeyes or something. They'd literally just eating like old, you know, oil-soaked paper and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm not eating it. Go nuts. Okay, heal Salmi and improve morale. How's your morale? You're satisfied? It's so hard to make you happy, dude. If it makes you happy, then why the heck are you so sad? Today we have a buff to everything. We know that today we have a goal today. The otter must build a fishery. We don't have an otter. <laughs> we have a, a beaver. <laughs> well, could we build something new? We could build a mine. Produces seven ingots. Yes, I would love to build a mine. I don't know. Oh, it costs... It goes too tall. It's too tall to build a mine up here. Okay, go ahead. And that used quite a lot of wood. Our fire's going strong, though. We're going to need more wood for reinforcing, though. And let's look at people's goals. Vegetables, fish, traveling. We've already done that. You should... How's your vegetable work? 
This will put us over the cap, which is great news. And then what's your goal? Traveler. Your fish too, right? No, insects for dinner. Oh, okay. I know we're going to need more wood. You always need more wood. If anything, I'm like, can I have you do like some cheap reinforcement on this turn? Better to do it now than to have to wait, I think. Plus six blueprints for producing so many vegetables. I'm kind of insane at, at this game. People were predicting I would be dead within the first four days. My wife said I would be dead in seven days. Instead, our colony is like, is self-sustaining. Can I get everybody to blue? Can I get everybody to blue? Blue or better? Well, sell me, sell me, please. Oh, okay, fine. Look at the morale is great across the board. The fire's doing fantastic. The weather is cloudy, no big deal. New caravan already too. Available housing four, rerolls three. Become happy is something we just don't take. We need a beaver. No, we need a an otter. Insect for dinner is easy. Produce vegetables is easy. When it's light rain, you get plus morale. I think I'm gonna reroll you. Because it's hard to give it's hard to get fish right now. Can I get a beaver? I mean an uh, otter? You're not an otter. Producing vegetables is very easy though. I'll replace you. Otter! Let's go! But produce insects is hard. Eh, whatever. Annoying at least. Make the meal that improves morale for Salmi. It's 10 lettuce, 10 fish, 10 bugs. How did you know that? <laughs> How did you know that? That's not an otter, it's another beaver. Listen, I'm not trying to step on Charles Darwin's toes. All I'm going to say is it's my personal opinion, huge if true, that otters and beavers share a common ancestor. And if that offends you, then honestly, that's your problem. If you don't like it, Napoleon, you can leave. Okay, great reinforcing. Common is Stonekeeper. That's true. And and I've heard that, that Zendaya is Michi. Somebody wants insects for dinner. Who's who else is left? Oh you're you're better at making insects, aren't you? Bears are better at making insects, bro. You get out of here. Hey, yo, 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 yo. You. In the worm terrarium? You in the worm terrarium. Cancel me. Right, there you go. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Leave for a second. You go farm up some vegetables and let Bianca handle the insects, okay? Now, does anybody want to work with the travelers? You want insects for dinner? The mice long for the mines. Silence. I kill you. That's, that's very true. One of the many things that Jeff Dunham said that was so true. Sometimes speaking truth to power requires that you use an avatar. You can't simply say it in your own voice or you'll be put in the stocks in the town square. And that avatar, of course, went by the name of Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. I, I don't have any fish. I'm sorry. I need I need a beaver to get... Oh, I sorry. I need an otter to get some fish. <laughs> Tier 2 bear? Tier 2 beaver? Tier 2 otter? I'd love to. Tier 2 squirrel? Make a mushroom cellar? Why not? Why not? 
I remember cracking up with this stuff when I was a kid. If you watched Jeff Dunham as a child and you laughed, I can't be mad at you. I mean, they're, a kid enjoying Jeff Dunham's comedy is ter perfectly fine. But his target audience is actually like 55-year-old adults plus, which is unforgivable. Hey, go off, Kings. Thank you for the raid. We were just talking about Jeff Dunham, which I'm assuming since I know that you're fans of comedy, you're probably very familiar with some of his work. I was absolving my chat because some of them said that they watched Jeff Dunham and laughed when they were kids, which I said was fine because it's made for children. <laughs> I don't want to go too far because we might have a lot of Dunham heads that are watching the show today. And I've heard he made extreme advances in puppetry, right? Like he's, as a comedian, I don't know if he's, uh, well, I know that he's not very good. He's definitely not my style uh, or anybody's style because I like watching things that are good instead of terrible. Um, but I heard that he was really good at the puppetry. I heard that he was like a, is like a it's the puppeteer's puppeteer. He was the first person conceived via puppet. There's no way, because puppets have been around so long. There's no way that's true. Now, let me just let me think about this for a second, okay? We have 22 wood. No reinforcing required. That's great news. What are our goals? Produce some insects? I bet a bear could do that no problem. Boom, there's some insects for you. Other goals, produce vegetables, extremely doable. We'll have a mouse produce some vegetables, and I think we'll have a squirrel produce some vegetables. And then we'll have Cali, four ingots, that's horrendous. We're not gonna have you do that. You can just gather some food. And then what are you, you're, you're good at mining, right? Mice are good at mining. You mean nine ingots? Sure, why not? I'm assuming we could use that metal for something. I'm, I'm going to complete the entire tech tree. At some point, it would be lovely if I got um, fish. <laughs> but I'm not doing anything to do it, so they won't let me out of the tutorial. You can keep 50. You're going blue? They're going blue mode. Okay, we'll keep you right there. Yeah, we'll do Jackbox in like eight minutes. In like eight minutes or so. This has been Deluvian Winds, by the way. Exclamation point, Deluvian Winds. Having a great time with the cozy little lighthouse simulator. Staving off tragedy. I imagine it's probably a much more stressful game um, if you're not as good as I am. But I am... Uh, I'm pretty amazing. And I can't be stopped. I will take a tier... Well, we don't even have a tier 1 otter, brother. How about... How about get these two, and then look at this. You can gather more debris. As if anything that I own will ever be destroyed by a mere tidal wave. Anybody not completed their objectives? You, are, you didn't get enough fish. Okay. Well, in that case... I still want someone to fish, but... Maybe it's okay. Wait, we, we can build new things, too. I don't want a dormitory. But we, look at this. Consume vegetables to produce wood. Ten vegetables becomes 30 wood. Or uses two metal to produce 30 wood. That's freaking crazy, dude. Why can't I build it? Because it costs 50 wood. This costs 40 wood. Oh, the fishery. Every single otter won't appear for me. Well, in that case, give me some wood, of course. Give me some wood. Collect wood. I gotta assume beavers are insane at collecting wood. You're obviously crazy at collecting vegetables. You're a bear, so you're great at collecting insults. I mean, insects. Just stick to your strengths. And then, you know, sure, 11 ingots. Not the, oh, well, we need something to do with our metal. Otherwise, it's gonna decay, I guess. But whatever. Oh... My metal went bad. Oh, honey, before you went to bed last night, did you put those iron ingots in the fridge? Oh, sorry, I forgot. We should put it in the food. That way we could have stave off anemia. 
the silent killer. Okay, take some ratatouille. We can only hold 65 wood. Might as well give you three of those. That leaves us on 58, which is enough to build our sawmill. That's like a Jeff Dunham joke. I don't... Who, does he have like a an annoying millennial puppet that he could use to put words in my mouth? Sorry, I don't drink coffee. I only drink... Starbucks. Silence. I cancel you. That's Jeff Dunham. Call it it's Quinn the Annoying Millennial. Don't talk to me until I've had my Starbucks. Silence. I cancel you. Oh, I can't afford a million dollar house, yet I spend five dollars a day on Starbucks. Somebody help me balance my budget. <laughs> Silence. I cancel you. I will say, I didn't think this kind of person existed. Kate and I were in a park on Saturday. And I don't, Kate, I don't know if you heard this guy. But he said ever since like he started to work from home, he doesn't go to Starbucks anymore. His exact words were, I had like a $1,000 a month Starbucks habit. This dude was spending $30 every day at Starbucks. I didn't think that people like that existed. I thought they were made up by 60-year-old homeowners to justify not feeling guilty for property prices inflating so high over the course of their lifetimes. I, he must have been exaggerating like a little bit, but like I could see like... I mean, what's, what's my Starbucks trip? I never go there, essentially. But maybe like once every two months, I forget to have cold brew in the house. And then I'll go to Starbucks and be like, I'll take a cold brew. Give me a liter of cola. But I could see if you ordered a drink, like a, a, a huge drink and a lunch daily, you could spend 15 bucks a day. 30 bucks a day is like double what I would put at the premium level and then make it every day. That's crazy mode. Like, I, I hope he was exaggerating. Anyway, let's, sorry. <laughs> grab everybody, become happy, insects, insects. No, no, don't grab everybody because we need a freaking otter, dude. We need an otter. We don't need any more beavers. You're not an otter. Oh, I know an otter when I see one. There's a Starbucks at the Target I work at and employees will get a drink on two or three breaks every day. Sorry, I just had to click on chat to get it to refresh because I lost my mind. Three times, three Starbucks drinks a day? No, no, no. It can't be that average person, but that's... Why would you care? Oh, no, wait, it's REM poster. Sorry. I thought that was just perfectly timed. It's like, I, I care for their well-being. I'm like, I'm not judging, like, from an ethical or a moral standpoint, but more like a financial standpoint. It just doesn't seem like... I mean, if it makes you happy, it can't be that bad, I guess. But, okay, anyway... Tomorrow, we're going to have a storm. Not ideal. I think we've probably got one more day in us here. We need the, the most important thing is the otter builds a fisher's cabin. Then we can start fishing. We have so many lettuces. That's not necessary. Just have everybody play to their strengths right now. I mean, we're, uh, we're already, we're, we have too much metal. If anything, you should do a reinforce to spend some of your metal. He's a genius. And then, then push me. I learned of the existence of cold brew from you. It was a real eye opener. Nyak, 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 nyak.
sorry, mom, I don't have time to talk to you right now. I'm too busy trying to figure out where to put all these avocados into my 250 square foot condo. Silence. I cancel you. They love me. <laughs> they go crazy for me. Gather food? Jesse, what are you talking about? It's not Jesse. Why is everyone talking about Jesse? This is Jeffrey. I find insects tend to proliferate at night in the woods. I could try catching some. No, you'll, it's better for you to rest. Keep your morale high. All right. This has been Deluvian Winds. I'm having a great time. I've set my colony up perfectly. It's day 34, and honestly, like I think that this is probably going to become New York, if I had to guess. It's thriving so much. Uh, it just came out on Steam Early Access today. It's nice and cozy with occasional bouts of extreme weather. Go check it out for yourself. Exclamation point Deluvian Winds, or scroll down to the uh, video description below if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thank you to Goblins Studio for the sponsorship. Deluvian Winds.